All right, now this section that's over here on the left side of the game board is all about increasing your leverage. Uh, dramatically over the leverage that you've been able to increase by creating your own products. Creating your own products, driving your own traffic, doing your split testing, making sure everything is working properly as we've walked you through this process is fantastic. And it's a great way to build an income. But it, when you get into other people's resources, other people's money, other people's lists, other people's time, other people's social media stuff. When you start to get other people out there marketing you, there's no substitute for that. It doesn't matter how much traffic you can drive yourself, keep doing that, keep split testing, keep making sure that everything's working, but then go out and get other people excited about your products, seeing how valuable they are in the marketplace, and really digging in to you and your business and and setting you up as a leader in the industry. So this is where you take and transition to going out and how do you find people to come and, and sell your products. And in this space, in space 19, it's, it's all about the customers that you already have. The, the lowest hanging fruit, the easiest people to convince to come and sell your product are the people who are consuming it and loving it. Right? If you're putting out great products and people are there and they're giving you rave reviews and you got these testimonials, then when you get your affiliate stuff set up, and your affiliate software and everything set up, you can go to these people and you can say, hey, now I've got an affiliate program. If you've got a list, if you've been having success, if you like what you're seeing, uh, look at these testimonials, come over here and, and send some emails or do some Facebook ads or something like that. And you're convincing your existing customers who are already learning from you, they're already on your list. So it's your leads, it's your list, it's your existing customers that are gonna be the easiest people to convince to come be an affiliate for you. So that's where you get started. And then from there, you can expand into, into to other reach because everybody, everybody that's an affiliate out there, people with a big list, people who, who know how to drive traffic as an affiliate are constantly looking for that next great product that they know their list or their following is going to love and they're going to be able to make some money on it. So you've gone through this process of creating these great products and optimizing them and split testing to get conversions way up and now you can go attract affiliates who will come in and they will absolutely just eat up everything that you've got and they'll market it and they'll make you a killing. In my, in my experience and what I've seen inside of my business, I have literally built massive lists and massive millions and millions of dollars in income off of affiliates marketing my products. We spent absolutely no money in the last four months to build literally over $745,000 of income and tens of thousands of leads into our list, all from affiliates, all from affiliates. I think I posted a couple of Facebook ads and maybe spent a hundred bucks to do that. And it's all based on the power of getting affiliates behind you. And that's what this next three spaces is about. And specifically this space, we're gonna teach you the, the best ways to convince your existing list to come become your affiliate. And we're gonna walk you through all the affiliate software and things that you can do, sort of a review of what we went over on the Apprentice Game Board. So go ahead, dig into this section. Let's get you some affiliates out there making you some extra money uh, and increasing your leverage. So with that, we will see you on the inside.